Hey everyone, this is Arlene with another project for Graphic 45. Today I want to share a 12x12 layout that I created using Graphic 45's new Mother Goose paper collection. Now I wanted to show you that Mother Goose is not just a children's collection um, or for babies. You can actually use it for other projects that you might have down the pipeline. And what I decided to do is uh, scrap a photo of myself in the courtyard at the uh, castle in Napa and this was one of my favorite pictures even though it's kind of it was taken with an iPhone and it was like facing the sun so it was kind of glared but I really loved the colors of the flowers behind me if you can see and it matches the Mother Goose paper collection perfectly <laughs> so I decided to use Mother Goose uh, to create this page. Now, I make most of my scrapbook pages on heavyweight chipboard, and I do that especially if I'm using heavy metal. And I did incorporate one of the ornate door plates onto this page, so the layout is pretty heavy. So this is actually gonna go into a shadow box, and if you haven't seen my um, video on how to store dimensional layouts, I'll provide the link down below so you can go check it out, but there's different things that you can do to store dimensional layouts because obviously something like this won't fit in a scrapbook. <laughs> so, um, so anyways, let me walk you through the layout really quick. So as I mentioned, I have this on heavyweight chipboard and then I have some black cardstock or sorry, yeah, black cardstock under the sheet of Mother Goose. And I used my Prima Distress tool. It looks like this. I love this thing, can't live without it. But I used this piece here, which is the blade and I distressed all the edges all the way around, okay? Um, on the layers, uh, more black cardstock. The trim on this side, it's like a doily trim or um, kind of like a scalloped trim. Uh, I use an old Stampin' Up! border punch to cut, trim those out or to cut those out and I use the paper collection to do that. Behind here is a Martha Stewart punch. It's kind of like a trellis uh, type punch that's by Martha Stewart. And the, the layers on the bottom, design paper, Mother Goose collection, black cardstock, Mother Goose, black cardstock. So just a lot of layering uh, going on on the layout. And then I have my photo and layered on top of that is this really gorgeous die um, by Imaginarium Designs. And I really, really love the, um, the design on this frame. And what I did is I took my Distress Ink in black soot to color it up. So I kept that pretty simple. I didn't do much to color that up. Um, up on top, my favorite metal door pull from the Staples Collection by Graphic 45. I did a lot of fussy cutting. So let me start from the top down. So I did all of this fussy cutting from the Mother Goose Paper Collection, all of these flowers. And then in the center, just to accent the flowers, I used my diamond stickles. Let me see if I can angle it so you can see. But yeah, I did use some diamond stickles really fun. And then I kind of snuck in, tucked in some of the Petaloo flowers that came in our design team package. Okay. And then down over here, you'll see an ornate metal keyhole with a stamp metal brad. Those are both from the Graphic 45 Staples collection. And then I handmade this banner, just layered it onto our fishtail banner. I just layered it onto black cardstock and then the mother goose paper. And then Napa, this is from the Steampunk Spells uh, sticker sheet. Okay, and then um, down here you'll see that I have some border strips that I use the paper collection to cut out with a die, a border strip die. And the border strip die is by Cherry Lynn Designs. And I just use some glue to layer those onto each other. Right under that is the ornate uh, metal door plate that I mentioned earlier and what I did is I used the hole there's a hole under here but I covered it with 2013 which is the date the photo was taken over here I took one of the spare parts frames spare parts by Hobby Lobby and I punched out with my three-quarter punch I punched out one of the flowers from the Mother Goose collection and then I just added some stickles uh, to the center of it to give it some glitter glimmer and these little um, jump rings are from uh, Artie Cake I believe Okay, and then over here, we have a Prima uh, clock, metal clock, Petaloo flowers, 
Uh, I have some Wanta Scrap Bling, the black bling from Wanta Scrap. And then again, more cutouts of the flowers from the Mother Goose collection with diamond stickles to accent the centers. And then over here, I have a swivel clasp from Sky Blue Pink. And then on that, I have a couple of ornate metal keys from Graphic 45's Staples collection. Okay, actually going back to the alphas, you guys, I got that wrong. The alpha stickers here are from the French Country Alpha sticker set. And then the stickers here that I use for 2013 is from the old Curiosity Shop alphabet sticker sheet. So, um, so that's where those came from. So anyways, that is my scrapbook page of a picture of myself taken at Napa using Graphic 45's Mother Goose paper collection. I'll include all of the links down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care, guys. Bye.